Hey everyone, Dr. Luke Peterson here, physical therapist with the Knee Replacement Therapist. In this episode of the Need to Know Show, we're going to talk about pain management after knee replacement surgery with a particular focus in this video on medication. So when it comes to pain management after your knee replacement, the focus is on multimodal treatment. So what that means is multiple modes or multiple ways to manage your pain effectively. So this could be medications, it could be things like icing, um, compression and elevation, it could be exercises and stretches and all sorts of things to manage your pain effectively. So when it comes to medication, probably the most common thing and the big one that people think about is the prescription medication. So the opioids such as, uh, for example, morphine, Vicodin, Percocet, Demerol, um, you might get prescribed something else, but any type of prescription opioid medication is very common to get after knee replacement surgery. Now there are some folks who they might not be able to take this medicine for different reasons, um, but a lot of people will be prescribed this medicine. And because of there's the opioid crisis within the US and um, there's a lot of legislation and a lot of rules and regulations and it's state dependent and depends on your doctor and a lot of different things, usually you wanna think that you're not gonna have this endless supply of prescription pain medicine. Um, of course, there's a lot of complications and potential risks with taking this medicine, such as constipation, confusion or delirium, feelings of drowsiness or nauseousness, um, and just feeling unsteady or not having good balance. And then, of course, there's the more serious consequences of addiction and the negative things that can happen if you end up going down that trail as well. So really you want to think that you're probably only going to have this medicine maybe for a couple weeks, maybe two, maybe three weeks worth um, of prescription pain medicine to use. So that's something you want to keep in mind as you start your rehab and recovery. Now when you start to stop taking this medicine, you shouldn't stop right away. And the reason for this is the potential for withdrawal symptoms, which of course are no fun. So you really wanna wean yourself off the medicine slowly. So listening to your doctor, your phys uh, pharmacist, to figure out the most appropriate and safe way to do that. Now, when you are post-op and out from your knee replacement surgery, besides prescription pain medicine, opioids, you probably will also be given a uh, prescription for acetaminophen, or so probably the most common is Tylenol. And the benefit of Tylenol, of course, is it's just another pain management strategy. It probably doesn't pack as much of a punch as the opioids, but it's also a lot safer, has a lot of less risks involved with it. So you'll probably get an acetaminophen, and then you also may be given a prescription for or recommended to use um, an NSAID or an anti-inflammatory drug such as ibuprofen or Celebrex and there's a couple other ones that are out there that are very popular. And so basically between those three things that's the main um, medication wise the main things that you're going to be working with and of course with prolonged use of NSAIDs or anti-inflammatories there can be some negative consequences of course some irritation to um, your gut and your your digestive system so you have to be careful and you have to take them appropriately and as prescribed by the pharmacist but by using this multimodal technique so by using these three things in combination the goal is hopefully you aren't going to need as much of that prescription heavy opioid type of pain medicine that really has a lot of negative consequences involved with it we want to avoid any of those things from happening so using this approach to both stay on top of your pain and keep it under control, but also avoiding some of the negative consequences of taking too much of these drugs as well. So that's the topic of the medication. I'll start a series of sharing some videos on different topics, talking about icing, talking about exercises, talking about other types of pain management strategies. So look out for those coming soon. Please leave your likes if you got something useful out of this. Please leave your comments and questions and I'll get back to everyone I see. And as always, please subscribe and hit that um, button to turn on the notifications so you can catch all our videos related to knee replacement surgery, rehab, recovery, and everything else in between. Thank you very much for watching.